Hey guys, welcome back to the long dark survival mode on Voyager. We are going to make the trek to Broken Railroad this time, regardless of the weight that we have on us. And this might be the last video I record, depending on how it goes. Because, yeah. It's going to be a long one that I'm going to trim down somehow. So, yep. So, this sped up portion of walking is about a minute long and this is post commentary over top of it just to give it some flavor and uh, we are going all the way from mystery lake to the forlorn muskeg across the whole forlorn muskeg into the broken railroad that is the journey luckily the weather holds out for us however we do run into a wolf at some point and he kind of messes us up a bit but and the game saves so there's no turning back from this point but, uh, it's nothing too bad, nothing too awful. And then, in the Broken Railroad, I made a wrong turn at first. Which you're about to see, I think. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. And then we will pick back up with live commentary as we stop speeding up. Yeah, this is the way we turn, because it's a dead end up there. I turned one too early, but this is the way down to the lake, and the lake is connected with a tree branch that loops us back around and gets us back to the railroad track eventually, but of course it's guarded by a wolf. There's no way this thing's not going to see us. Wolf! Well, we didn't kill it, but we certainly hit it. Let's just try to get to where we gotta get to before he comes back for round two. See, there's lots of tree limbs and stuff around here. But anyway, you don't tune in for me to tell you about the tree branches on the screen. I might be hanging out with somebody in Atlanta this coming weekend, but I don't know yet. It's kind of random. So we'll see what happens if I get a phone call or not. Hey, there's some crows up there. That means there's something dead. not the way to go though. The way to go is over here. Do you guys fall asleep to blizzard sounds and stuff? Like nature sounds of any kind? Because there's one blizzard video in particular that I religiously fall asleep to. It's 10 hours long and it's like just the right length to drain my phone battery <laughs> and uh yeah block out all the other sounds that might happen during the night I don't really remember this area of the map too well I have a vague idea like I know we cross that tree stump and this loops back up here to the train tracks And eventually there's a maintenance shed, and then the hunting cabin. But the exact route to get there, I don't really remember too well. Which is part of the reason why I wanted to do this, because it is a little bit of a challenge. It's something new, it's something to shoot for, I guess. But yeah, we're moving way too slow. I like the music of this game too. How it just kind of like comes in.
It's hard to find the soundtrack of this game, though. Well, like, it's not, but the specific songs that come in when you're playing survival mode, it's hard to find those, because if you look up the soundtrack, it shows you a lot of, like, the Wintermute story mode music and stuff. And it's a little bit different than, like, the minute-long tracks that come playing in like this. But that's neither here nor there or around the square. Shut up, so stupid. Man, slap the cheeks. And yeah, there's the landslide, which was preventing us from just going straight the whole time. We had to get that wolf on the lake. But here we go. The broken railroad has been reconnected. The maintenance shed is up ahead. At some instance. Is there stuff on the left or am I thinking of the ravine? I wandered all over the place on pilgrim difficulty. And that was uh, just as slow as this because I was pretty encumbered for the most of it. That's why I have so many hours in this game, is just, it takes so long to get anywhere. But yeah, there's a website apparently called mynoise.net, I think. I think that's what it is. And you could adjust the frequencies of the sounds that are uploaded onto that website. So, like, if you're listening to rain on a tent or a blizzard, you could, like... Well, let's go with the rain on the tent. The rain on the tent, you could, like, boost the bass so it sounds like you hear more of, like, the deep pelting on the tent. And you could lower the high frequencies or the opposite of that. But I think that's really cool how you can, like, customize the... I guess it's basically just an equalizer of the, the sound playing. But they have everything from blizzards to rain on tents to wind to spaceship humming. And that's the kind of stuff that I really enjoy. Oh, we got one lone train car here. Oh yeah. There's still a ways to go yet, hobbitses. I don't know why I said that. That was stupid. Like, that, that strained out of my mouth like a nerd trying to say something cool. And it just hurt. It hurt us all. Nothing. Can we go in here? No. Well, there's no going forward because it's all dilapidated and stuff. Where are these crows? Is it a deer carcass or a human body? Let's find out. This will come hey, those are the good mittens if they're at 100%. Alright, we have yet to dip into our groceries. And we're finding more, apparently. Let's go ahead and get some of the weight of this fish off of us and the water that we're, got, we're jugging around. 
lugging around. There we go. It's a minor boost in speed. Even though the weight is still technically in us, almost like you take an instant dump. You guys ever notice that when there's snow on the ground, it actually feels warmer than when it's just a cold day without snow? Or is that just something weird that I noticed? It's almost like the heat gets trapped in between the snow or whatever and creates like a little warm bubble. Here we go, this is the maintenance shed. And it's got this little truck at the front. I don't know what happens if you keep going straight. I think it loops around to a waterfall or something. Hope nobody needs this anymore. Well, mostly just junk. But we're here to raid it and then head back to Mystery Lake eventually. So we're picking up everything. I think we're going to spend the whole month of April just listening to nature sounds and not talking. Just not doing anything. Just kind of reset human existence. This... Hey! What scared him away? Will we find a hunting rifle in this little shed? Or scrap metal or anything? Some wood on the ground out here. A whole lot of nothing. Aside from this wood. What? What? There's two wolves. This one's coming for us. Boom. <sighs> I'm tired, man. All right, well, before we skin that wolf, let's check the truck. truck and then the shed so we might as well skin the wolf now instead of walking back and forth like a dope Scrap metal? Yes, it is. What? Oh, come on now. I'm getting in the truck. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. That was really close. Wonder if this is any good to eat. That thing is right there. Where 
There's the one stalking me. Oh well, we're safe in here. Lamp fuel could be useful. Far we have fallen, man. Is it food? Or? We used to be able to come up with stuff to say all the time. Now it's just like, uh... well, that was just a really bad soda. Probably gonna make us sick if we even attempt to drink it. Hey, that's more hooks. I could use this. Dash. We were talking about the band live on Nintendo Capri Suns stream. Oh, that's a ripped up jacket. They hate the light. Slow movement, man. Especially because there's stuff in this shed to pick up. But maybe we could find a nice storage container in here for all the excess stuff. And in the meantime, the wolf pelt. Let's dry it in here. But yeah, I've been trying to listen to live a lot more. They're like on tour right now with Stone Temple Pilots. Which is interesting. That they would just randomly come up in conversation, but then also be currently on tour celebrating uh, 25 years of throwing copper was live's album. I don't know what the Stone Temple Pilots are celebrating, but... Excellent. Hacksaw, that's for breaking down metal. It's just going to be more weight, it's, but it's a way to get scrap metal. And speaking of scrap metal, why not make some more fish hooks? So we're not carrying around the weight of the metal. Not sure why I feel so tired. I don't know why I feel so tired. It's because it's dark and you've been lugging crap. And yeah, let's get our lantern. We've got plenty of fish oil to fill it up. Moving slow, this is the game. This is why I'm thinking this is the last time we're going to record anything. Because we're going to make the journey back to Mystery Here's Lake. The good stuff. And then once we're back in Mystery Lake, we're going to do the same fishing routine over and over and over again until we can. Another hacksaw with dusting silver? I don't need any of that. That's for archery, which we don't even have a bow. But we'll take it to learn the skill, I guess. Alright, the wolf meat. We gotta cook it up on this barrel. I think I can use this. Yeah, I guess we might as well do it now and just crash here in the sleeping bag. Well, yeah, Nintendo Capri Sun constantly impresses me with the fact that he's never taken a break. He's never, like, stepped away. And he always has something to talk about. I don't know how you do that. Like, I'm sitting here struggling really bad. 
trying to come up with anything to say that I haven't said already before. It used to be easier before I said anything. I used to... I don't know. I used, like back in the Zelda videos and stuff. That's an hour. And we have an hour. Alright, let's sleep for an hour then. But yeah, back in the Zelda videos, I was like ranting about life and stuff, and I had all these deep thoughts about everything. Now I just... I'm just defeated. That's what I am. Six minutes. Well, we need more time, so I guess we gotta put in that coal. In that regard, we might as well put some water in the can. I need to lay down. I think I need to lay down. And do it, sir. I would like to collapse and lay down myself, listening to blizzard sounds. What? Oh, I was already selecting something. I didn't mean to eat that. Oh, well. We ate some candy bar. Daylight in here. What was that squeak? All right, sleeping bag is back on us. We got full energy. This is as fast as we can move right now. I guess we could store everything in that red roll away tool case. Anything that we don't need. Let's actually check this one too. Keep the lamp burning. Arrowhead. Hey, uh, well, you know what? It's in better shape than the pry bar we currently have, so we could swap them out. Stump Buster. Let's just throw that in with the, the dusting sulfur. That's all stuff for the ammo station, which, like, good luck wheeling that stuff over to the one ammo place. Well... Fuel up the lantern. Let's check these back rooms. Even if it makes us walk two miles every three hours. We got this furnace where you can, if you had a hammer, you can smith something. Excellent.
We'll leave the other coal in the bucket. That's fine. More stump remover? Wonder if the owner's around. Yeah, I guess this game is only fun for so long. I enjoy it, but I've played it a lot before. And when I could end up being useful. When I think about it in terms of videos that are interesting, I could I just picture everybody being bored. So I don't know. Hey, fishing line, there we go. And look at all this water. There we got hooks and fishing lines, so we snapped a couple, but we got them back. That'll come hey, that me. might be better than something we've got. Flashlight? Well, yeah, why not? Let's take it all. Uh, no, it's not really better. So we'll just store it in that tool chest. Now would be a bad time for food poisoning. One more room to check. I think. There might be two areas to check in here still. But we're just slowly lugging to this door. It's painful as it is, I know. We don't need another flashlight. We don't need newspaper roll. Let's see if the freezer has anything. Still eat this. There is an achievement for unlocking 100% of the map, which that is a feat, man. If you can do that, that's crazy. Like that's that's like platinum status of this game. This stuff will come in handy. Man, some thick shirts. We'll move it all to the tool chest, so we have a, a quickly accessible storage spot for this maintenance. I wonder who owns this stuff. Hey, that might actually be in better condition then. Is it food or? I just realized the sentence I said I kind of didn't finish. Wonder if this is any good to eat. The way that that guy always does. All right. I think there's some something under the bed here, and that is that room. Well, we just gotta get back to the tool shed. What is in this container? And how did I miss it? Hope I can still eat this. Hey, peanut butter, we haven't dug our fingers into that yet. All right. Let's eat some meat. I took what I could and shoved it in that tool chest. But we're still really encumbered. 
Now we gotta... At least we're moving. I was barely moving in there. Uh, let's get out of here. This guy's gonna be a problem. Actually, maybe he won't. Probably just wasted bullets doing that. I think I could have walked away from him the way his back was turned. It was just scary, man. I don't know. Oh, this is going to take ages to get to the hunting cabin. Especially with the wind blowing against us. I'll do what I can to speed it up again for your sake, but for now... One time I was getting attacked by a bear by this shed. Or did I dream that up? Maybe it wasn't here. Maybe it was somewhere else. Yeah, there's a lake at the bottom of this forest straight ahead that leads to the bridge that we have to go across. And there's also a hunter's blind, which may have something like a rifle. That would be really good. Okay, here's the hunter's blind. Slowly but surely we found it. Now, does it have anything of use? Not that we need to carry any more crap or some. There's a bear. We're safe in here, but. This will come down. Okay. Another hunting knife down there. Revolver cartridge. That's. Hey, that's in better condition than the one we've got. Um. Hi, Mr. Bear. That is a problem. That is a big problem. Stop coming this way. Where it said. Well, so much for that one revolver thing we just found. We did hit it. I saw blood on the ground. Let's get out of here. We got to get it to that bridge. That was a necessary shot, I think. That bear would have mauled us if I didn't scare it away. Oh, they're just circling because of that dead guy in there. But yeah, we're trying to get to this bridge. One heavy footstep at a time. You need a lot of bullets to take down a bear. So that thing's gonna be alive for a while even though I shot it. I shot it with a revolver too. That's hardly anything compared to like a hunting rifle. Hey, there is more old man beard dressing. Was that... I saw it by the hunter's blind just now. But that bear was guarding it, so... This, this stuff we can grab. Harvesting old man beard lichen. Oh, 
All right. The hunter's cabin is just a little bit more beyond this fence. But at this rate, it's going to take like two hours. So... Yeah. Listen to your blizzard sounds and have a snack. Have a beverage. And just take it easy, I guess. We look at us go so fast. Faster, faster, faster. Everybody likes to go this fast all the time. Might as well grab this cedar limb because, uh, The hunter's thing is right here and we're gonna need some firewood because we have a lot of firewood back in the mystery lake cabin but not this one the only way you can really survive in this place is if you get a lot of bunnies and wolves and deer Which, actually, we had a snare, and I, I don't know what I did with it, but I, we don't have it on us right now, so we can't trap bunnies. But usually there's wolves or deer hanging out around this cabin. Yeah. So like I said, it's a push to do something different. You go from infinite fishing. What? Oh, there's a second one. Holy crap. That was close. What was I saying? Oh yeah, you go from infinite fishing to needing to hunt wolves and deer at this place. Like I, th I think it is called the Hunter's Cabin or something. Or Hunter's Lodge. Torn clothing. That actually was like the weakest bite possible. It probably really damaged some piece of clothing though. Alright, well. Now we gotta be really careful because they're gonna bleed out. So we have to be sniffing for their carcasses pretty soon. Yeah, hunting lodge. This is what we've been trying to get to. This is the Broken Railroad's ultimate haven. You can stay here for a little bit. Not nearly as long as the infinite fish loop back at Mystery Lake, but... If you get lucky with wolves spawning in and rabbits and deer... Or even that bear, if you're so bold to take the bear out... You can get some meat. And it's, it's got one of those six-plated stoves in here. I think I can use this. Ooh, our mittens have stitches on them. I guess they must have gotten torn up a bit. What have we 
here. Running out of revolver bullets. We had like 60 something at one point, now we're down to 20. Oh, the wind. The wind is pushing us, but the door is right there. Wonder if this is any good to eat. Oh, well, it's all right, I guess. Maple syrup. Two percent. Put that back. That will get you sick faster than anything. All right, so this is our last chance at a hunting rifle. Thought I saw one out of the corner of my eye sitting there, but nope. There's still the upstairs and the downstairs to check, though. But yeah, see, this is one of the ultimate stoves. Or ovens, whatever you want to call it. Is that a can opener? At long last? I could use this. Wow. Coal. Start building up a pile of books too. As this is our base for the time being until we make the trek back to Mystery Lake. Which again, I don't know that I'm gonna really. Is it food or? Record all that, but. It is a survival game, and we're surviving. We could put that recycled can on the stove, and we don't, if we don't find a cooking pot, if we have enough recycled cans, it's basically the equivalent of a cooking pot. Hey, revolver cartridges. We were just talking about how we needed more of that. All right, let's check the upstairs. For a rifle. Because we have rifle ammunition, but no gun. Man, we're moving slow. This stuff will come in handy. It's like, there's a lot of metal and crap that you could break down in here. But there's no lake. You have to go all the way back to Mystery Lake to do any kind of fishing. There's got to be something useful in here. Is that... Holy crap. Just what I need. A hunting rifle. I almost missed that. It was blending into the dark. Is that a book? Or... <laughs> well, let's get our rifle loaded up. 21. could hunt for a while here. Is that a mountaineering rope? Oh, this is heavy, but I'm taking it. Let's go deploy it. Oh, 
All right, one footstep at a time here. Let's get to the rock. We took the back door out of the cabin. Definitely gonna trim that out because I was moving so slow. But the rock is right here. This is why they give you a mountaineering rope. You're supposed to make the trek to the cabin, get the rope and put it on this rock so that in any future trip, if you decide to come back here, you have a shortcut way back to the cabin from down below. That's five kilograms off of us. And that is deployed now. There's some regions that are all ropes and ropes and ropes. That are real advanced. Looks like a bear almost. I don't know what that was. But yeah, as you can see, I play the encumbered way. So I'd be really bad at those advanced areas. If on anything but Pilgrim. Hey, well, might as well take this. Oh, got rather pink rather fast. What? Taking out the wolves pretty well. I mean, there's been a few misses here and there, but 5.2, that's that's a good amount of meat. Let's get our new hunting knife. All right, let's start this fire and get our meat on the six-plated stove. It's gonna go so fast compared to Mystery Lake. That did it. Ultimately, what it means is less firewood because you could get more accomplished in the same amount of burn time. So yeah, all the meat from that wolf. Plus the groceries that we found and brought with us. You can see how you could survive here for a little bit. Let's go ahead and put the broken up recycled can full of water. more water going so you can't neglect the water it's easy to forget when, without the cooking pot well all that meat and it wasn't enough to top off the hunger there we go wolf meats cooked So now we boil water and stay put at the hunter's lodge. This will come in handy. This will come in handy. Yeah, look at we still got so much burn time. We could do three cans. That's still not equivalent to the amount that a cooking pot can have, but if we pass the time real quick, 
It may be faster than a cooking pot. Something's making me feel really tired. All right. Let's get the sleeping bag down here. And... Eat some crackers. Okay, we didn't get sick. Let's just top off the stats here and call it a day and I think that will be it for me in this game whoops I didn't mean to eat that what am I eating I'm eating one of the good ones too I don't know why the cursor gets locked like that oh well I guess we'll put that can. Oh, I never picked up the our good can. It doesn't matter the percentage of the can, but the one is at 100%. All right. Let's top off the energy. Let it save. Sounds like a storm out there. I don't know why I'm doing this. It's not going to save our stats of eating and drinking. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. Thank you for everything. And I hope to be back soon. But I will see you. Take care.